I bought you a video a couple of days ago about an effort that Jim Davidson is funding to get humanitarian aid uh, to Ukraine and try and help some people there. I said about charities, how I don't trust charities anymore. Uh, I used to wear a poppy. I used to stick me a couple of pound in the lifeboat tin. None of that I do anymore for obvious reasons. A lot of charities, the... Uh, heads of them are paid in some cases six figure salaries and the charities that you know we believe we're giving to the the people they're supposedly raising funds for don't get anywhere near the amount that actually goes into the coffers and we have to wonder what's the point well we've had this with the tom moore foundation haven't we i i really hate doing videos on this subject because that man's reputation should be not be tarnished in any way shape or form but this does need discussing <laughs> Howdy everyone, welcome back to the channel for a Friday. The weekend's nearly here. Hope you're all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Well, Tom Moore. We know what uh, Captain Sir Tom Moore did, walking around his garden. Uh, all those laps at his age to raise all that money for the NHS. Or so he believed. Well, we've had a lot of controversy, haven't we, uh, on, the, uh, on the media about the actions and activities of the Tom Moore Foundation. And I, I brought you information about this myself, uh, one of which was the fact that not a great deal of money had been given to charities when, in fact, a lot had been paid out in expenses to companies owned and run by Hannah Ingram Moore, Tom's daughter. Well, she decided to go on to this morning and set the record straight. Now, she went on this morning with Philip and Holly and tearfully denied any wrongdoing and tried to justify the charity's actions to the best of her abilities. Now, I have two questions. Do you believe her or don't you believe her? Basically, that's down to everybody how they see that. Uh, but one thing I will say in uh, Hannah's defence, the media are disgusting. They can take a thing, anything you like, any story, and they can twist it round and make it appear any way they choose. And there's still enough people in this world that believe all of the vile that's spewed out of the media on a daily basis. So where do we go from here? Well, you have to look at the facts of the situation. Never mind Philip and Holly and that cosy coach chat. You can actually find out all this yourself and have a look. Right, this is the website for the Charities Commission. And it tells you everything you need to know. It took me two minutes to pull all this up. And you can see a couple of handy little pie charts there. Uh, you know, financial year ending May 2021. And it gives you all the information, including the trustees and what they benefit from. And uh, what, who, where. Uh, that tells you what they're about. Uh, governance, their charity number and everything. Uh, trustees and look Hannah's not on there there's three trustees and she's not one of them David Colin Ingram Moore uh, and then more importantly you've got the financial history with everything there so you can see the truth of what's going on you don't need Philip and Holly to sit there and give their platitudes and tell you exactly what's what you can find out, out all this yourself and there's the other thing as well to do with this supposed property they want to build in their back garden too. I very much believed that that interview on the television was pre-prepared. You know, we're, we're going to ask this, you're going to answer that. Oh, don't worry, we won't say that. You know, it's one of those. But the point I'm trying to make is you can find out all this yourself. Uh, it's all there in black and white. And you can see exactly what went on because they have to report all this legally to the Charities Commission. And, uh, you know, we'll have to see if anything else comes out in the wash. The only shame of it all, in my view, is the uh, reputation of that great man is tarnished. And uh, yeah, but I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. But it's uh, pretty sad, in my view. Pretty sad. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you soon with another.
Toodaloo.